Hello kids. Today we are going to start chapter number 20 adverbs. So let's start. Use the lines given below to rewrite the original paragraph as you write. Add in several adverbs to make the story more interesting. Original paragraph. Mom had a dog. The dog ate food. The dog. The dog ran. The dog slept. We also have a cat. The cat is not amused by the dog. The cat moved. The dog has to go to a vet for vaccination. The dog does not want to go. It will be an adventure. So kids, you have to write down the edited version of the original paragraph here. Read the following sentences. First, he will arrive tomorrow. The word tomorrow tells when he will arrive. Second, the aeroplane flew swiftly. The word swiftly tells us how the aeroplane flew. Third, the train never stops here. The word here tells us where the train never stops. In the above sentences, stops, arrives and flew are verbs. The words swiftly, here and tomorrow meaning of these verbs. These words are called adverbs. A word that adds some meaning to a verb is called an adverb. Example, sweetly, here, yesterday, etc. Kinds of adverbs. Adverbs are of different kinds. B. Adverbs of manner. How adverbs? Read the following sentences. First, she behaved foolishly. The word foolishly tells us how she behaved. Second, the old man walked slowly. The word slowly tells us how the old man walked. In the above sentences, sweetly, foolishly and slowly are adverbs. These adverbs tell us how the actions are done. So, these adverbs are called how adverbs. These adverbs also tell us the manner in which certain actions are done. So, these adverbs are also called adverbs of manner. Now, kids, did you know an adverb of manner tells us how or in what manner an action is done? An adverb of manner answers the question, how is the action performed? Now, I have oral questions for you. Use some adverbs of manner in sentence of your own. Part C. Underline the adverb of manner or how it works in the following sentences. First, Pooja laughed loudly. So, you will underline loudly. Second, Ruchi does her work quietly. So, you will underline yes, quietly. Similarly, you will underline all the manner adverbs. Part D. Adverbs of place. Where adverbs. Read the following sentences. First, he lives here. The word here tell us where he lives. Second, Suhani was standing out. The word outside tell us where Suhani was standing. Third, my brother has gone out. The word out tell us where my brother has gone. In these sentences, here, outside and up are adverbs. These adverbs tell where certain actions happen. So, these are called adverbs of place or where adverbs. And adverbs of place or where adverbs tells where an action is done. For example, here, there, up, down, inside, outside, etc. Now kids, did you know an adverb of place or where adverb answers the questions where? Now part E, underline the adverbs of place or where adverb in the following sentences. First, my house is over there. So here you will underline there. Second, he is inside. So here we will underline yes inside. Similarly, you will underline the other adverbs accordingly. Now, part F, adverb of time, when adverbs. Read the following sentences. First, he will come today. The word today tells us when will he come. Second, he is eating his breakfast now. The words now tell us when he is eating his breakfast. Third, the school will open tomorrow. The word tomorrow tells us when the school will open. In these sentences, the words today, now and tomorrow are adverbs. These adverbs when certain actions happen. So, these are called adverbs of time or when adverbs. An adverb of time tells when a certain action happens. Now, kids, did you know an adverb of time or when adverb answers the questions when? Now, part G, underline the adverb of time or when when adverb in the following sentences. First, she left early. So, you will underline early. Second, he is doing his homework now. So, you will underline now. Similarly, underline the other adverbs accordingly. 
H. Adverbs of frequency. How often adverbs? Read the following sentences. First, he is always happy. Second, she usually gets a plate. He never tells a lie. In these sentences, always, usually and never are adverbs. These adverbs tell us how often or how frequently a certain action happens. So, they are called how often adverbs or adverbs of frequency. An adverb of frequency or how often adverb tell us how often a certain action happens. Example, always, sometimes, never, etc. Now, did you know kids? An adverb of frequency or how often adverb answer the question how often part I underline the adverb of frequency or how often adverbs in the following sentences. First, he rarely sees her. So, you will underline rarely. Second, I often exercise in the morning. So, you will underline often. In this way, you will underline the other adverbs accordingly. Now, did you know adverbs add more information about verbs? Part J, formation of adverbs. Like nouns, pronouns, verbs and adjectives, adverbs are also one of the different parts of speech. Let's learn about the formation of adverbs. Most of the time, adverbs is formed by adding ly to an adjective. Example, sad, sadly, brave, bravely. Now, you can see the other words. Here, ly is added. Sometimes the adjectives end in y. In these cases, replace y with i and add i and add ly. For example, happy, happily. So, here you can see, instead of y, here is i ly is added. Hungry, to hungrily. Heavy, heavily. Cozy, cozily. Lazy, lazily. Lucky, luckily. Easy, easily. Angry, angrily. In some cases, the adjectives end in le or i b l e in these cases replace the e with y for example terrible terribly horrible horribly probable probably incredible incredibly gentle gently suitable suitably simple simply eligible eligibly part k form adverbs from the following adjectives first early early late lately Beautiful, beautifully. So, in this way, you have to write other adverbs to these words. Now, I have oral question for you. Some adverbs have the same form as their adjectives. Add more to the list. Here are adjectives and the adverbs. Late, late. Early, early. Daily, daily. Fast, fast. Long, low, low. Long, long. Far, far. Now, kids, did you know? Some adverbs of manner do not end in ly. The train arrived late. Rahul ran fast. He danced well. Now let's do the activity. Students have to choose an adverb. Then they have to share their adverb with partner. Next, students have to choose a verb to go with their adverb and share that verb with their partner. Once the students have their adverb verb pair, each student will write a sentence using their words. For example, adverb and the verb quietly walked. Sentence, the students walked quietly in the auditorium. Form as many sentences as the number of students in the class. Thank you class. Bye-bye.